when I was writing the playbook, I had a bonus chapter in the playbook that was about the systems and the structures that you need to have in place to have a direct booking business or a successful hospitality business. And when it came to the editing stage of the book, we pulled the chapter last minute because what we realized is the playbook was all about marketing. So it was about, you know, how to apply 101 marketing tactics into your business to grow a direct booking business. And the chapter just sat there in a Google doc. Uh, the book was released. It went down really well. And then in May, I was part of Hospitable Hosts. And that was a multi-author book. And in that multi-author book, it was stories from 40 hosts around the world. And I really enjoyed being part of that process. Um, and I kept coming back to that, that missing chapter from the playbook, which was on the systems and the structures. And it was a July, a July morning. I woke up early because I literally woke up thinking about it. I had a strong cup of coffee. I had a big piece of A1 paper in front of me. And I just started to circle and brain dump what a book would look like when it was about the systems and the structures, like filling it out. So one of the circles was pricing, which is obviously Price Labs. One of them was trust. One of them was the upsells. One of them was guest experience, the PMS, like everything that I could think of. I, uh, I put in these circles. And what I realized is that I just created a book. And when it came to the book, I didn't want to do it all myself. I wanted to tap into the expertise of friends and peers and vendors from, from, from the industry, from the people that I've met over the last six years of doing Boostly. And so next to the circles on that piece of A1 paper, I started to write down companies that I wanted to reach out to be part of the book. And um, the first person that I reached out to, the, literally the fat day, I, I sent a little, I, I drafted up a very coffee-fueled Google Doc with the idea why they should be part of it, the wins that is going to happen on the back of it, and, and why I want them to, to be do, do this journey with me. And Maddie at Mount was the first one I sent it to. She was the first one to re like literally instant reply back saying I'm in. And basically the message went something along the lines of, um, I want to put this book together. In 2022, February 2022, I tapped into an unknown marketing channel, which is Amazon. And it's a marketing channel that I've always wanted to be on, but never done before. And the playbook has opened so many doors on the back of it. I wanted to now showcase and show off and sort of um, represent other peers, friends, family vendors in the industry on a channel that I know they're not visible on, i.e. Amazon. And I wanted to do it in a way that fit the book direct model. And this will be the follow-up book to the playbook. And this is going to be all about the systems and structures and the things in place. Um, all they had to do was write 3000 characters, 3000 words, uh, 3000 words, sorry. And, um, just talk about their area of expertise. Um, at the same time, I messaged Jody Sterling and I just said, listen, I've had this idea for a multi-author book. And coincidentally, she messaged me back saying, I'm actually starting a publishing house called, um, Sterling publishing house. I have to check on that one. The name is, but she, um, she said, I'll be more than happy to be part of his project and help put it together. So all I had to do was find 10, 11, 12 um, vendors to be part of it, 12 chapters. I boostly was going to do a chapter, but I, I went out and found the rest. So I wanted to have the, the main thing for me is there was going to be a no compete clause. So I didn't want to have, for example, Price Labs and Wheelhouse on the same book. I just wanted to have one, you know, so um, I had all of my first Avengers, my first list, my A list. And I'm lucky that everyone got back to me and said, yeah, which is great. And um from there, it just sort of snowballed, really. Everything came together. Um, so we've got, obviously, Price Labs, pricing. We've got IPRAC for trust. We've got Mount for the upsells. Uh, we've got Touch Day for the, uh, the guest experience, that digital guidebook. Uplisting is PMS. DAC, the team at DAC, uh, which is the mobile app experience, you know, the, the sort of the guest loyalty. Uh, we've got Tech Tape, which is... Um, sort of your tech stack, how not to make it complicated. Superhog, which is um, obviously the guest verification, the host protection. Uh, Minoan, which is putting together your property, how to do it in a in a, in a a simplistic way where you actually get a kickback from it and at a decent rates. 
Uh, D travel, which is obviously something that I'm passionate about, which is web free. That's sort of the future of the hospitality industry. And um, D travel, one of the first people I had to convince them <laughs> a couple of zoom calls, but I'm glad that they came on board. Uh, and then um, Ruben, uh, Robertin from the co-host expert, um, but basically corporate midterm travel, you know, um, something that not many people talk about when it comes to hospitality. And then Boosley's got a chapter. So it's not me that's doing it. It's the CTO. So I reached out. So basically Boosley is being founded on training, but more to the point websites. And there's a guy that's a brain behind the scenes. He's like the, the unheard of or the unseen part of Boosley. But I really wanted to put him into the forefront with this book. And so he's in a chapter on about um, 33 um, secret steps to building a true direct booking website. So it's great to be able to showcase him. And yeah, so we've come together. Jody helped run the show. She helped with an inspirational um, person came in right at the very start. Oh, what is she called? So basically she helped to get a, an inspirational person come in to give everybody inspiration on what to write. Uh, and then she organized an editor and a proofreader called Jen, which is fantastic. And now we've all put the book together. We're currently recording the audio book with um, Hannah Gardiner uh, and uh, in a sound recording in York. And we're all ready to go for December. The unofficial release date is the 12th of December. And the reason why it's unofficial is that I learned with the playbook is you don't marry a date. You don't set a date because anything can go wrong with Amazon. And it most likely normally does, as we found out. So uh, we're, got, we're, we're, we're aiming for the 12th. Everything is literally ready. Um, we're just waiting on the audio to get edited. But the book's ready. Books are going to the printers and we're just sort of doing everything behind the scenes. But I'm just saying December 2022 release. And the big thing about the release is that any profits, so after Amazon have taken their cut and all those fees and whatnot, any profits from the book, all of the profits from the book sales will go to food bank charities. And so we're just going to start building a big pot and I'll just start finding food bank charities and start putting it into them. And all the authors have agreed on that, which is which is cool.